Hey guys, I thought it would be a perfect time since I just got a shipment of BPI products in to do a little BPI product informational video, kind of explain and break down a couple of their different products, let you know what I use, when I use them, what works best for me, and then you can make a better decision when you are checking out at BPI.com. They have so many things, I know it can get overwhelming, so let's just dive right in. So I'm gonna start with what I like to use for a post-workout shake, ISO HD. So this is whey protein isolate, and this type of whey protein gets to your muscles faster. That is why it is best post-workout. Just the absorption rate after you work out and you drink this, it goes to your muscles faster Whereas the Whey HD is kind of like a little bit slower at getting your getting protein to your muscles. So I would really recommend the ISO HD for a post-workout shake or putting it in your post-workout oatmeal, whatever. And this is great for any time of the day. If you start your morning with a protein shake, this would be a great protein. I can't get comfortable. This would be a great protein to use if you were having, like I used to for my pre-workout meal, I would have oatmeal and then a scoop of protein. This would be great for that, like like pre-workout or any time of the day type of protein. If like your snack is a protein shake. Um, if you're gonna put some protein in some Greek yogurt, which is so good, try that if you have a hard time hitting your protein goals. Um, but yes, this way HD is just better for pre and all the whole di entire day. I have cookies and cream flavor, snickerdoodle. I've also had chocolate brownie and s'mores. I think s'mores is my favorite and then the second is snickerdoodle. I found the snickerdoodle at vitamin shop actually. So that is protein. And so one thing I really wanna talk about this is a great product, you guys. I recommend this for all my coffee drinkers. It's a game changer, man. Keto Bomb is so good. So, little story for you. I, when I see keto, I look right past it. I am not keto, I have tried it. I am a bitch on no carbs or very little carbs. Um, when I tried keto, so keto means you are trying to get your body into ketosis. And doing that, you have to cut your carbs like drastically, like none, like five to 15 grams of carbs, like none, like veggies. And you just eat all your all fats for energy. I was so bloated. Ooh, I was bloated, I was tired, I was cranky, I was not a nice person, my workout sucked. That is just what happened to me. I don't think, you know, I gave it enough time to really get my body into ketosis because once you are in ketosis, like it can take up to seven full days to reach ketosis. So once you get there, I hear you feel good, but then what happens is you eventually are gonna eat more, you're gonna have carbs again at some time in your life and you're gonna feel amazing when you eat those carbs and then you're gonna go right back to that shitty feeling when you're trying to get back into, ke into ketosis. So it's just a diet, in my opinion, that is not really, you're not able to sustain it long term for the majority. That's my little spiel about keto, but, so I usually just stay away from everything keto keto bomb. I had no idea what it was. Stayed away from it on the BPI website. Didn't care. Then when I became an ambassador or an athlete for BPI, they would send me samples and they sent me like 10 samples of keto bomb. And I read what it was. I had no idea what it was. I had no clue. It's a coffee creamer. You guys coffee cream flavored coffee creamer. My favorite. I haven't tried the one that I've only had is caramel macchiato. It's so good. The other flavor is, I can't speak. The other flavor is French vanilla. I'm sure it's awesome. Once I finish this, then I'm gonna get the French vanilla. It is so good. So it's a keto product. So whenever you see a product that has keto on it, you need to know that it has fats. There is macronutrients involved. So one scoop is 26 grams. 
it's a huge serving. I don't know who would have this serving in one cup of coffee. It's huge. Let me show you. I mean, that is a lot of creamer to put in a cup of coffee. So what I do is I zap, I, I follow my fitness pal or I track my food on my fitness pal. I zap the barcode and I just adjust. One scoop is 26 grams. That's what one serving is. So I'll do like 10 grams and it's plenty. I promise you. I've done 15 grams, a little bit more if I need some extra fats, but I just log it in my fitness pal and the majority is fat. So the total fat in one scoop, that really humongous scoop is 10 grams of fat and four carbs. So when I log 10 grams, I'm just getting like a couple grams of fat, maybe one or two carbs, but oh my God, it smells, it is so good. If you're a coffee drinker, get this. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed at all. And you don't have to use those dairy creamers and milk and all that sugary stuff. This really flavors your coffee so good. I actually had it last night. I had it last night was Halloween. I had a sweet tooth because there's candy everywhere. And I just had a cup of decaf coffee with I think 10 or 15 grams of this in there. I was good to go. Great. So keto bomb, just buy it. Let's go buy it. I'm gonna we're gonna do BCAAs next, BCAAs. There's a lot of them that BPI offers and I, I get so many questions on these. So I think it's super important to like break it down. So there's a few different products surround like aminos, best aminos, best B BCAAs. There's a lot going on with BPI. So let's start with just their best BCAA. This flavor is sour candy. I've also had watermelon, which is amazing. It tastes like uh, watermelon Jolly Rancher and snow cone might be my new favorite flavor. It's so good. It tastes like you're drinking the liquid from a snow cone. Oh my God. It's blue too. I love blue flavor, anything. And this is sour candy. It really does taste like sour patch kids or something. It's delicious. You can drink BCAAs at any time of the day. It's great in between your meals to keep you satiated. And what that means is just to keep you full and satisfied. The leucine, that's an amino acid in here that helps keep you full, keep your body thinking that you're full. Um, so really great supplement to take in the morning for fasted cardio. If you do fasted workouts, BCAAs always, forever all and always drink BCAAs. Um, anytime, you can't have too much. You pee out what, you, what your body can't use. So great product. I think you should just always have BCAAs in your cabinet. I really do. Then there's best BCAs with energy. Now it's the same exact product, but it just has as much caffeine as one cup of coffee. So if you're someone who doesn't like pre-workout, if it's too much stimulants, too much energy, too much caffeine for you, great. This is made for you. If you're someone who I, when I had a desk job every day, I would need a coffee at two, three, two ish, three ish. Just I was like dragging after lunch, like I'm just like waiting for the day to be over. And I would have coffee, like two cups of coffee. I would start my day with two or three cups of coffee. And then I would have pre-workout and I'm like, I just, you know, coffee dehydrates you and I'm drinking all this water. So this is really great if you want to like cut out that afternoon coffee that you're having constantly every single day. If you want to like kind of wean yourself off of coffee, this is a great supplement. BCAAs with energy gives you that same amount of caffeine as one cup of coffee, but you get your BCAAs, so it's awesome. This flavor is watermelon ice, so good. Tastes like watermelon Jolly Ranger, amazing. This is another watermelon ice. When I tried watermelon, I bought watermelon everything. <laughs> I loved it. Um, BCAAs shredded. So this is the same old BCAAs, but it has, I think L-carnitine, yes. It has L-carnitine, L-tartrate. So when you're shopping for L-carnitine, if you know, even know what I'm talking about, but if you're someone who knows your supplements and you take L-carnitine, always look for it in L-tartrate form. So this is just their BCAAs with L-carnitine. L-carnitine burns your fat for energy. So this will just help convert that fat into energy. This is perfect intra-workout, which means during your workout. This is great after your workout. This is great before your workout. This is great first thing in the morning. If you do fasted cardio in the morning, fasted workouts, fasted lifting, fasted anything. 
And fasted just means there's nothing in your stomach. I really would recommend drinking BCAAs, but I would say, this is just me. This is what I would do. I would get my gallon jug. I would put one scoop of BCAAs shredded and one scoop of BCAAs energy. So you at least get some energy in the morning because I need that for my workout, especially if you're waking up at like five in the morning. BCAAs with energy and then a scoop of BCAAs shredded. So you're getting the energy, you're getting the BCAAs, and then you're also getting that burning your fat for fuel um, ingredient too. And if you put it in a gallon, you can do two scoops of it and not have it be like too much of a like sour flavor, or too much powder, I don't know. Uh, or you could just put it in a regular shaker. I've done two scoops in a regular shaker before and it was fine. So that would be a really good idea if you're someone that does fasted workouts in the morning. I would really recommend getting both because why not? I mean, they're both really great. So I would recommend that. Shredded and energy for fast, for people who do fast workouts. So that's those are the BCAAs that I currently have. They do have another product, Best Aminos, and it has glutamine in it. That's my favorite post workout supplement. I don't have it, I ran out, and I haven't ordered it again because there's so many other things I wanted to try. But I really love L-glutamine. Um, BP, BPI sells glutamine in its own tub, which I'm probably gonna get this month. Now that it's no November, I'm gonna get that product this month. So I can just, I have so many BCAAs everywhere. Like I don't need the, uh, the aminos. I just can throw a scoop of glutamine in there. But glutamine just helps your muscles with in, in muscle soreness, recovering. It's another amino acid. And in my opinion, it should be in every freaking BCAA out there, but it's not. But they do have a product called Best Aminos that is BCAAs plus glutamine. So that is a product, I will put the picture right here, right here, one or the other. And that's a really amazing product too. I love that one, Best Amino. So if you're into like recovery, if your muscles are really sore, I would totally get the Best Aminos. So let's talk about fat burners. Currently, right now I am taking Roxylene. I did just order B4. B4 is a thermogenic and so is Roxylene. A thermogenic just means it is heating up your internal body temperature so you can burn fat and stimulate your metabolism. Now, these are two very similar products. What I have read when I look at the ingredients and did my research on this, B4 is almost more of a pre-workout. It has like the mind muscle connection, um, that like focus energy. So if you're a morning time person who works out, B4 would be a great product for you. Roxylene is just an all around great fat burner. Not so much like that mind muscle connection and that focus energy, but it just gets you like, it's. I call it a happy pill. It makes you feel amazing. My, my mornings when I, I mean, I'm taking this every day, but I am the most productive human being. I am so happy. I'm doing yoga. I'm like, love, I get so much done in the morning. It is a, if you're a mom on the go, like Roxy Lean, amazing. So all around great fat burner, appetite control, that kind of thing. I take one a day, one in the morning on a completely empty stomach. It does like make you warm a little bit um, and kind of itchy. I don't really feel the itchiness. I guess I'm used to it. But if you've never taken this product, it has niacin in it, which just kind of like flushes you, but just know that you'll get used to it. It's not bad, it's not scary. It just makes you a little bit warm, but it's warming up your internal body temperature. So you're burning fat, your metabolism is getting stimulated. So it's all good things happening. So I'm doing that now and I love it. And my next, when I'm done with Roxylene, I'm gonna try B4 just to give it, I've never tried it, so I think it's important for me to try these supplements. And I ordered B4 with their nighttime fat burner. You absolutely can take the um, night burn with the Roxylene. They just sell this as a stack, so I bought it as a stack because you save money, one, and I wanna try it, I wanna give it a try. So night burn is their nighttime fat burner. It just kind of relaxes you, puts you in a state of like calm and relaxation helps stimulate your metabolism while you're sleeping and I think it's great to have like it helps like kind of with recovery just a good supplement to have at nighttime to kind of like wind you down 
so that those are fat burners and let's talk really quick about CLA plus carnitine. So this is a non-stim fat burner. If I say non-stim, that just means non-caffeinated. You can have it any time of day and it will not affect your energy levels. So I currently right now have CLA plus carnitine. CLA is a healthy fat. It is known to, like in research, it has shown to like um, kind of tackle stubborn body fat. And that's the CLA portion. It's a healthy fat. So that does mean it, this supplement does have fat macros that you have to account for if you track your macros. And it also has carnitine. I talked about L-carnitine when I talked about the best, the best BCAA shredded. It is just, that's the fat burning part of this supplement is it just helps burn your fat for energy. So in the mornings currently right now, I take one Roxylene and then I do a scoop of CLA plus carnitine. I was previously, I had little sample packets, but I ran out. I was taking their CLA plus coconut oil plus aminos as my non-stim fat burner. And I really liked that because I do yoga in the morning and I'm not eating immediately. So I like the aminos to kind of like preserve my muscle mass when I'm not, when I'm fasting. Um, I'm not fasting for a very long time. I wake up and I do yoga and it takes about 30 minutes. But when you're, when you don't eat right when you wake up, I, you need to kind of protect your muscles because your metabolism is going to want to, you're moving around, it wants to start burning and it could go and take your muscles for energy and I don't want that. So <clears throat> I was previously do, doing the CLA plus coconut oil plus aminos and that also has fat in it too. So if you track your macros, just, just zap the barcode if you take this daily, but those the the cla plus coconut oil plus aminos and this supplement is very similar the only difference is this one does not have aminos um so i was really liking that i was able to get the aminos of that other drink but i have this whole tub so i'm like okay i'm gonna use this and then bpi came out with their liquid enhancers so now what i do in the morning is it's perfect I take a Roxylene, I take a scoop of CLA plus carnitine, and then a squirt of Best Aminos. So it's literally perfect. So let's just jump right into these liquid enhancers. So that's my morning stack. I love it. I'm not gonna change it. Oh my gosh, I just ate so like I'm like burpy. Um, water enhancers. You get six water enhancers in one thing. So amazing. Best Aminos, I mean, I have one of these everywhere. I Today I was at a coffee shop doing work, bought a huge vitamin water squirt all over, and I, that sounds weird. I put this in my water. I hate the word squirt. Oh my God, ew. Um, let's just stop talking about that. I put this in my water and it's snow cone flavor and it was delicious and I was, I found my, I chugged my water so fast. I was like, oh, that was a little too fast. These are amazing, in your desk, in your car, in your purse, at home, in your gym bag, no mess, just quickly, if you're like, oh, I haven't drank any water today, put some of this in your water and I swear your water will be gone. So aminos, just overall good all day freaking long. Carnitine, this, I was so excited about this. If you like follow me and keep up with my stuff, you know how excited I was. So BPI does not have a separate L-carnitine supplement. Um, like they have glutamine, they have different, just like creatine, different supplements that are just that one thing at, in a powder form, but they didn't have L-carnitine. I was kind of bummed actually, but now they do. So L-carnitine is really great. First thing in the morning on an empty stomach, I would use this if I didn't have the CLA plus carnitine supplement. I 100% would use this every single morning. And this is not something you have to like wean yourself off of. Um, so just one score for like two seconds. Amazing. Uh, first thing in the morning, an empty stomach. And then pre-workout, put it, oh my God, put it in your pre-workout, in your powder, in your whatever you drink pre-workout. Um, really great pre-workout. And then it's also good with like your post-workout meal like a carb heavy post-workout meal. Every meal post-workout, after your workout, you should be eating carbs. You just, you should just do it. If you don't, just start. And put some of this in your water. Genius. Love it. It's my favorite. I'm obsessed with these water enhancers. You need to get them. If anything, just get the aminos because you'll drink them, but 
so good. Now, these two, it's best for last. There's no BPI lo like labeling. It's like these different products are like not secret, but I don't know why they're, I don't know why they're not looking like this, but I had to try them. So bam, it's a pre-workout and it's kind of like it. The reason why I think the um, labeling is different is because every single one of these products with this labeling has some type of deliver liposome matrix delivery system i don't know that's what all of them say i did a lot of research online and it just gets into your bloodstream gets into your system so much faster so this pre-workout i've only used it a couple times maybe like three it's the brand brand new i just got it in the mail and I, i've had wonderful pre-workouts there's yohimbine in here and yohimbine bark is like a fat burning supplement um but it's not gonna make you, I don't have any weird tingles. Um, I don't get flush and hot and red. Like it's not super intense, I didn't think. I just had, it's just a really great like mind muscle connection that I get. If you tried BPI's pre-workouts before and you want something different or you want a pre-workout that's not gonna make you like itchy and stuff, bam, I, I love it, it's really good. This, Amino Strong, another one where it has that matrix delivery system that gets into your bloodstream faster. This supplement is so cool, you guys. This is what I'm currently drinking during my workout. I put it right in my gallon. It has three grams of creatine, so I don't need to add any additional creatine. If you're a woman, if you are someone who thinks creatine is bad or creatine is gonna make you become like the Hulk, that's not true. Creatine is the most researched supplement on the market and it just brings like water to your muscles. It's actually really great for your joints. It's really great for older people. Um, if you're a little bit older, like my mom, I, my mom takes creatine, five grams. It's really just, it's a great, we, our bodies, we get creatine from red meat, you know, just not enough. Our body makes creatine, just not enough to reap the benefits and it really will help your strength gains too. So this Amino Strong, already has three grams of creatine in it, so I just do one scoop. And on top of the BCAAs, the creatine, it also has pump enhancers for your freaking muscles so you can get a nice pump in the gym. And that is why I drink it during my workout. So I put this in my gallon, okay? And I add, I add best aminos since I'm drinking it in a gallon jug. There's a lot of water in there and I want I want more BCAAs. I'm drinking that throughout my whole entire workout. After my workout, I am drinking that gallon. So I add, and I, I start this drink like right when I'm about to walk in the gym. Like I chase my pre-workout with this combination. So, and then I also put L-carnitine in here too. So I don't add the L-carnitine to my pre-workout. I add it to this this stack because I'm drinking it throughout my workout after my workout. So it's just a drink that is surrounding my workout and all of these separate ingredients are amazing for during and after your workout. So if you wanna try a cool little stack that I made up, Amino Strong, Best Aminos and Carnitine liquid enhancers in a gallon jug, your gallon, your water will taste amazing and you'll finish that damn thing because it tastes so good. So that this is my current intra workout stack right here and I love it. One more pre-workout supplement. One MR Vortex. I really love this pre-workout. So this is like a little bit more, you'll get that like flush. You'll feel a little hot. You'll get a little bit red maybe if you're sensitive to this. It does have niacin in it. Niacin is the ingredient that makes you flush and kind of like red. Um, so this, if you're, if you like that feeling, if you like to like feel it working. This is an amazing pre-workout. I have the best freaking workouts. The recommended serving is one scoop, but I've been taking two lately because I am like a caffeine junkie and I just wanted to try it out. And two scoops, my workouts have been so freaking good. And I am like a sweaty beast. I am like so into my workouts. So you can buy this at Walmart, GNC, but like this is a great pre-workout. So if the kind of redness and like flush feeling that like warm it's it's like i said with the um the fat burner it's just heating up your internal body temperature so if that doesn't bother you and you have never tried one mr vortex give it a shot if you're someone that really you want a little bit more energy than like a basic cup of coffee but you really really hate that like itchy scratchy 
and this isn't really bad itchy scratchy it's honestly i swear to god it's not but if you just don't want that flush feeling and you're just more sensitive to that like you have really light fair skin and it turns you really red then i would give bam a try because there's no niacin in it let me just make sure no niacin in it and it's just a really clean really clean focus energy pre-workout it's really great so those are the supplements that i have if there's any other supplements you guys have a question on, please comment below. I know this was a little bit longer of a video, a lot of talking. If you don't need any recommendations with supplements, then just don't watch the video. But I hope this helped. I know it was long, but I really wanted to get good information out and like be, I want you to like feel comfortable when you're ordering supplements, like know what the heck you're ordering. So any questions about any supplements, comment below. If you want like my recommendations for like a fat burning stack or something or like lean muscle gains or bulking they do have a bulking um protein that has like higher calories so just comment below and i can help you like on a more specific basis but i hope this helped you guys and i will see you for the next video bye